What's up, YouTube universe? This is Michael. And Jennifer. Back again with a special video just for y'all. We're finally getting around to answering everyone's questions while we wanted to do a Q&A. Finally got enough questions to be able to do this video. So we're going to get started. Ready? Yeah. Alright. I'm going to use my phone so I can read the questions off. We'll start with... What soccer football team do you support? Sorry for spelling. Optic X rays ass. Hmm. I guess you're talking about soccer, soccer, right? Yeah. It said soccer special football, so. We don't really follow it, but if we're watching the World Cup, I guess USA. Pretty much. This one's from the endorsement. How did you become a Broncos fan living in North Carolina? That is a great question. Well, growing up, everybody seemed to either be Cowboys fans, 49er fans, or Redskins fans, early 90s. So, I was neither, and I just enjoyed the game of football. Everybody asked me, who's your favorite team, who's your favorite team, who's your favorite team? At, at the time, I did not have one. I just loved watching football, no matter who was playing. But the more I watched it, the more I was drawn to this man named... John Elway became a Denver Broncos football fan. Since then, that's, that's just my team. And then a couple years later, North Carolina announced they got a uh, team, Carolina Panthers. Who knows, if I wasn't a Broncos fan, the time they come out, I could be a Panthers fan, but I'm not. So that's the story of why I'm a Denver Broncos fan, living in North Carolina, why Panthers suck, why they lost the Super Bowl, and why Denver is the best team in the NFL. Why are you a Broncos fan? Because it wasn't when we met. <laughs> uh, I guess mainly because of you, too. Before you wouldn't marry me. He was a Cowboys fan. That's because my mom, my mom is. And I don't know. She just, she just grew on me, I guess. And then... We got together, them Broncos all the way. They say I'm a traitor. She's just a winner now. Cowboys are doing good this year, but they're not making that to the Super Bowl. All right, we got one here from Mad Covington. We got a couple from him. What do you do for work outside of YouTube? You want to answer? Yeah. I'm laundry, I do laundry in the nursing home. Never ending process. At work and home. <laughs> I'm a hustler. <laughs> what is the biggest lottery scratch you've ever won? It was a hundred dollars for us, wasn't it? Yeah, hundred bucks. That was a few years ago though. <laughs> How do you deal with negative comments and people who are hateful? Just don't give a fuck, basically. I mean, that's how I deal with it. I rarely read them. So, he does most of the, he does all the YouTube work, editing, uploading, all that. So. This one's from one of my buddies, Brian Food Reviews. The Chiefs, boy, I'm telling you. That's all I can say. I ain't gonna say nothing else. <laughs> He's got a couple questions for us. What is our favorite movies if we could pick our top five? I'll let you go. Number one, Hustle and Flow. Number two, The Call. Number three, Taken Two. Number four, Bad Boys Two. Number five, Sweet Home Alabama. It's, it's going to be hard for me. Uh, but I'm going to have to say number one is going to have to be the original 1984 Nightmare on Elm Street. Freddy Krueger is shit. Um, number two, Armageddon with Bruce Willis. 
Number three, Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Number four, The Dark Knight. And number five, mm, got us so many good ones. So many good ones. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Secret of the Ooze. Man, when I was a kid, I can't count the times I watched that movie. And y'all also wants to know what made us want to start YouTube. I really don't know. I cannot remember. <laughs> uh. I can't remember either. It's been a, it's been a few years. So I think just just to do something for fun to start with. Cause I I often talked about doing YouTube videos, but never really done them. And finally one day I just sat down and said, I'm, I'm going to put a video up. It was probably my worst video ever. <laughs> it probably was. Which I think everybody's first video seems to be the worst one. But I really can't say what the exact motive was. Except to have something to do at that point in time. Because it's been a few years since then. How many tattoos do you have? And what channels inspired you by Big Bert's one? Yeah, I just have one tattoo and it says rest in peace grandpa right here on my <laughs> I was real close with my grandpa. That's the only tattoo I have, but I definitely want more. And the uh, YouTube channel that inspires me, I love watching Roman Atwood. I have Three, four, five, six, seven, seven tattoos. This one says father. This one is a dragon with the word the king in the middle of it. I got this one, which we won't go into what that means. And I got this one. This one's one, actually one of my favorite ones. And it hurt when they got around in this knuckle area. And then I got the to see. It's upside down but it's a rose that says mom in it. Got it the day uh, we found out she was a dinosaur with leukemia. And I went and got that tattoo. And I got one on my chest. It's her name. Her name? Her name. <laughs> Jennifer. <laughs> and as for the channel that inspired me, mm, I'm trying to think back when I started, what was I watching? I guess you could say different food reviewers. Uh, I think the very first food reviewer I ever watched was Joey World Tour. Yeah. Yeah. So I had to say the start, he probably had something to do with it because I would watch him most before there was like a million different food reviewers on YouTube. Christy J. Where did you to meet? We met at my, well, his cousin's house, and my cousin and his cousin were best friends through high school and stuff like that, and we met at her house, <laughs> back when MySpace was popular. <laughs> ah, man, uh, July the 10th, 2007, right? Mm-hmm. Better be right. <laughs> Alright, this one's from another buddy. Middle-aged fat guy. How long have we been married? <laughs> over three years. <laughs> been married over three years, and this coming July will be 10 years since we've been together. And what do we like to do for fun? Uh, when we didn't have kids, when we went everywhere, <laughs> like to go bowling, uh, play arcade games we used to all the time go to Myrtle Beach up to our spot. Yeah. For sure. Uh, now I guess we watch a lot of YouTube vlogs and videos. Yeah. Pretty much just hang around the house. <laughs> yeah, what well, she said. Alright. This one from John Hill be the last questions because he asked quite a few. So, three more. <clears throat> Number one, favorite music now and of all time. 
both of us. I'll let you go first. My favorite, my favorite music now is, uh, I guess you say country music. I like listening to different varieties, but I listen to mostly country music, like when I'm driving and stuff like that. I'm way home from work and all that. And my favorite music of all time, I love classic rock music. And for me, right now, I don't listen to all country music. It's very select. Like Jason Aldean, Chris Stapleton. But mostly it's uh, 90s and early 2000s rap music. That's what I'm listening to now. And of all time, God, that's, that's, that's a hard one. Guess it has to be rap and R&B. Since that's what I grew up listening to. Drew Hill, Cisco, favorite, hands down. Number two, favorite color. Pink and purple. Orange and blue. And white. <laughs> this one's solely for me. Why did I do a fake lottery ticket? There's a lot of people wanting to know that one. Mm -hmm. It was just for fun. And I mean, if your eyes was good enough, which the select few was, you know it was fake right off the bat. I mean, it was for entertainment. Whatever, you know. People want to fly off the handle about it. Somebody, somebody said I should, should get hit by a bus for faking a lottery ticket. That was the funniest shit I've ever read. So... If you can't tell something's a joke, then you shouldn't be on there. I mean, really. Mm -hmm. It just goes to show how sad their life is. Mm -hmm. To go out and say that. <laughs> but it was a joke. Uh, real lottery people should have known it was a joke to start with just by looking at it. It is what it is. You move on, forget about it. Just, it is what it is. Number four. Favorite food and drink. My favorite drink is sweet tea, and my favorite food, <laughs> Mexican food. Yeah, my favorite drink, Coke, soda, and this, brisk tea with lemon. And food, Italian, specifically a very good pizza. I love Italian food, man. Hands down, I think it's the best food ever, really. Number five. Where did we grow up at? Well, I was in a dump to follow up. Uh, you go first. Uh, I grew up in Thomasville and then we moved to a little city called Benton. Very little. I grew up in the hood. High Point, Juanita Hills. Spent the majority of my childhood there. It's one of the reasons why I love uh, rap, hip hop, R&B music. Just, just my thing. Number six. What is your? Who is your favorite YouTuber? I have very few, but uh, my favorite YouTuber. I love watching again Roman Atwood vlogs. Him and his family, I love watching their vlogs. Dose of Fuji. Been watching him for a long, 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 long time. Yeah, bruh, bruh. Yeah, bruh, bruh. Are you your genuine self when you make YouTube videos? Well, not really. <laughs> not <Yeah>. me. <laughs> I'm not by a long shot. And the reason being, if I was my true self on video, I would probably get flagged for <laughs> my language, like, you, you know, the term, your head, you got your head in the gutter. That's me 24-7. Uh, I love talking nasty. I think dirty. That's just me. And I don't want to put this on here because there might be kids and stuff watching. So I just tone it down. I'm myself, but very toned down in my language. 
And when I and I do cuss a lot, but I don't cuss in a hateful manner. I just cuss in a being goofy and funny. But I don't want to put it on video because there might be kids watching it. You don't want them to hear language like that. I'm still nervous on video. <laughs> Number eight. If you could, what would your one wish be? Anything. Right now that my daughter will slip through the knife. She'd be a month old Friday and whew, I miss that sleep. <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot of this. That's what everybody wants, right? A lot of money. Yeah. So I take it. Give me a few billion dollars. I'd be happy. Get your wish, I get my one again. This one is just for you. Why do you seem so nervous when you do a video? Because as soon as the camera's off, the nervousness goes away like that. I don't know. I really don't know. I feel like everybody's in front of me watching. Well, y'all are. But, like, right in front of me watching everything. I don't know. <laughs> This is what y'all should do. Y'all want to see how nervous she really gets. Go to the ch go to our channel. Go to the very first video ever uploaded on this channel. Man, I had to edit so heavily on that video because how nervous she was. Y'all go check that video out. I'll leave the link in the description so you can just click on it and take you straight to it. Y'all see, she came a long way. <laughs> Number 10, this is for both of us. What can you not leave home without? Yeah. My wallet, my Glock, my knife, and my chew. Now I can leave home without a phone. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> I, knew, I, knew, I knew that would have been yours yeah. for sure. Uh, I, I most of the time leave my phone at home. I mean, it's not a big thing to me to have one when I'm out. All right, 11. Who is your favorite food reviewer? Peep this out and the endorsement's my two favorite. That's what I was gonna say also. I promise I didn't copy. <laughs> <laughs> That's really the, we see something new that comes out and we wanna know, we'll go watch them too. That might be a couple of them we might. And that's a big mic, check them out. But them two, as always. Number 12. Who's your favorite lottery YouTuber? Scratch and Kicks. Yeah, I had to say, Scratch and Kicks also, which I don't know too many anyway. This is the last question. And you've already answered it several times. Who is your favorite mm -hmm. vlogger? Roman Atwood, Smile More. <laughs> Dosa Fusi. But bruh, <laughs> cause the grind don't stop. It doesn't mean no time. <laughs> Anything you wanna add? Well, thank y'all for all y'all's questions. We really appreciate it. Yeah. All support. <laughs> yeah, I would. I wouldn't have thought that many questions would have got asked. I really didn't. Mm -hmm. I thought maybe four or five at the most. That was a pretty good bit. Appreciate mm -hmm. every one of y'all done it. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff you can do. We're going to be doing a giveaway when we hit 2,000 subscribers. So we're at, with this YouTube thing going on where one day you'll gain 10 and then lose 10, gain 20, lose 20 every time you upload a video. It's crazy. I mean, I literally watch it jump. Up 10, down 10, up 10, down 10. But whenever we get to 2,000 and it sticks there, we're doing another giveaway. The first one went pretty smooth. So, y'all can help by sharing the video, getting some people to subscribe, because we're at 1920 something. So, try to get us to 2,000 so we can get that giveaway going. Until next time, later. later.